Armored viruses use special tricks to make the tracing, dissembling, and understanding of the code more difficult. An example of an armored virus is a whale virus. Whale virus is designed to be very difficult to reverse engineer and analyze. It is very large in size and because it contains a large amount of misleading code or misleading logic, it will foil all attempts to figure out its mission. An armored virus is a virus that contains a variety of mechanisms specially coded to make its detection and decryption very difficult. One of these methods involving or fooling antivirus softwares into believing that the virus resides somewhere other than its real location and that makes it really difficult to detect and remove. Another kind of armor is implemented by adding complicated and confusing code which has no purpose other than to mask the virus and prevent the virus researchers from creating an effective countermeasures. Antivirus researchers find out how a virus works by examining and following the code of the virus. But an armored virus on the other side makes it difficult, makes it hard to dissemble the virus. And this gives the virus more time to propagate itself before research can actually create countermeasures. Armored viruses are very complex and have significant code involved which adds to their armor. Although quite effective, the flip side is that all the armor creates a very large virus that can be detected more easily because it has a chance to infect anything. Security researchers use the size of the file to, to identify whether it's a virus or a legitimate file. So things to remember is that armored virus has a kind of a code which is which has misleading logic. It is large in size, just like the term whale says. Whale is a whale is the largest mammal on the earth. So uh, whale virus is something which is very large in size. It has misleading code, which is difficult to deconstruct, and it is misleading for the security researchers.